Hi everybody, it's Mark Schelsch here. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. Well, I've had a lot of discussions come my way due to that article I wrote yesterday on my blog about price points. And I thought this morning, because I got a, there's a lot of questions and I, I hope I can answer them all in this. The point is, why did I do it? The issue is, when I was painting full time, I realized that not everybody was going to be able to afford one of these. Now these paintings average around about $1,000 US, a little bit up or down. Okay, so we're talking that kind of price point. Now that's not the price point that every person can afford. Yes, there's a lot of people who can afford that, but there's a lot of people who are raising families and doing things like that, who are not going to be able to afford paintings like this at this point of time in their life. So they love our work and they like our work so you i believe we've got to offer them some other price points so that they can buy the work now do i do this yes i've always done this i've always believed that i've got to have different levels of prices within my work now the thing about it is this the ones you see behind me i do not do those in smaller versions Okay, I don't make them smaller. Sometimes my paintings are usually half this size to the size that is here. That's kind of average painting that I ever did was around that size. I always paint it reasonably big. It was only when I realized that I needed to reach other people, people who were not part of the demographic who bought this painting, that I realized I had to have different price points. But I didn't want to take these paintings and reduce them down to small paintings because I thought that then the collectors who are buying these are going to feel that I am you know, losing my way a little bit and they're going to feel like they're being underpriced. So what I did was come up with a couple of other genres that I enjoyed doing and found fun and I painted that way. So I'm going to show you a few, a little demonstration today. These paintings here, these ones would come in at around about $25 to $30, okay, depending. So I did little ones like this. Now you can see that, uh, paintings like that, so, you know, that's around about mm, $25, $30, so that's a good price point. Then this one here as another one, similar kind of style. Now these don't take a long time to do, but I can do them. It's got my signature on them, people who want some of my work will buy one of these rather than buy uh, the big one, if they can't afford a big one. And then I did ones like this abstraction as well. But notice it hasn't got the complexity, hasn't got the amount of uh, background and everything in it when I did these ones. I see these as studies, but again, around about $25 to $30. So I was trying to reach that point. Then I did these ones. And these are the ones I talked about. Now, I do these little ones like this, so you can see, of little faces. Now, these don't take a long time. I do a whole heap of them in one go. I, we had a show here and we wanted to have these little ones in the show so I did about 300 of them and put them up on the wall. Look fantastic but it didn't sell that way and then when I took them out and started to place them in the gallery as just like this for around about six US dollars um, they began to sell and today we have very few left in the gallery. Now why do I tell you this? Not because I'm selling, no. Because I want you to see that price points count. If people come in looking for a piece of your art and they're not able to afford the bigger pieces that you have, the answer is to offer them something else. If they like you and they like your work, they're going to like whatever you do. So supply them with work which they can get at a price that's affordable to them. Now, I don't do these ones in this format, this big. No, that's not what I do. These are just playthings that bring out a price point that I can do a lot of them reasonably quick. They don't take too much time. I can produce a lot. Okay, so that's why I do them. And the other ones that are a little bit bigger. I do those as well and uh, have them ready because I believe in price points. And I believe artists, if you're going to have a really viable business, you can't, and I'm sure you all realize, you can't just live on these because not everybody has a spare thousand dollars on which to spend on, a, on a, a painting. I mean, a lot of people today are very stretched with their finances. So you and I have got to be smart marketers and realize that there's many price points we could come into. I might consider doing uh, a smaller version of this one at about $150 to $250,
but again, I don't think I would want to. I think I'd rather come up with a new format, a new kind of design, something else that's a little bit different than what I would normally do. Um, I think I put some up on the internet a little bit a while ago. I did a whole lot on, uh, on uh, paper. I, was, uh, I received all these things in the mail, you know, these uh, throwaway letter things that people put their prices on and like from different supermarkets and so forth. And I decided to paint on those. So I would paint uh, a similar design of these, but without the background. I used the paper's background. And then I sold them at around about $100 um, US. So it's, it's being resourceful. It's being innovative. It's looking at what you're doing and saying, I can do something else. Now, I really challenge you artists not to dismiss this but to think about this and be innovative. This is your business and you want to grow your business. Now you can get all, you know, uh, arty with me and say, oh, but I'm, I'm a pure artist and I only do, you know, the big format, I only do that. Well, that's good and fine, but that might not pay your bills all the time. So find other formats that you can work in and sizes you can work in that will give your collectors a wider range of paintings. I know with the smaller paintings, um, last time I was, uh, no, a couple of times ago when I was in Australia and I had a show there, I did some small format um, paintings, uh, not like this, similar, but not exactly like these. And, you know, they all sold out and they were around about $30. So, you know, it's always looking to find a new price point. And why? Another reason I say this, because it cultivates a new buyer. You see, if you can, everybody who's buying these ones, You've already got them as buyers, but you need people who get into the following you. And so these smaller ones give them an opportunity to buy a painting with your name on it and they begin to collect. And remember, even if it's only a small piece, it's still a piece of original art that gets into somebody's home and they will talk about it. Whether it costs $6 or $6,000, it doesn't matter. People, people are proud of what they buy. So make sure you develop new customers and the way to develop new customers is all the different price points. And I really believe in this. I think it's a way to go. I think uh, you've got to think broader. You've got to think about the mass you've got to reach. And so in that mass of reaching that mass, you've got to have all the various price points. I really think, you know, $5, $15, $25, $50 are great points to hit. And I think if you can put work out at those prices, then you will score and you will get sales. Now, what I am not saying is reduce the price of these. I am not saying do these paintings in smaller format. No, I would never do these paintings in smaller format because they would lose what I've got here. You know, I love these paintings and I want these paintings to stay like that. I don't want them to end up like that. This is different. This is a different format. This is a different concept, a different idea, but it's still Mark Shellshear. And that's what matters. The signature on the bottom says that it's mine. So I want you to think about that, guys. Think about it in the way that you've got to market yourself across a wider range of products. And the way to do that is to have a wider range of price points. Be initiative, innovate, innovate, innovate. Think about things, initiate new ideas. Dream about what you can do. Get your imagination working. You know, if you're, um, say, let's say for instance, you're a landscape painter and you do big format landscape, uh, cityscapes, things like that. Maybe if you come down to a smaller format, you should think about doing abstracts, doing something a little bit different than what you'd normally do. That way you create another genre within your artwork. You create another signature within your artwork and you'll begin to reach people and touch a new group of people as well. And you might find that your older collectors who are buying your big formats love the little uh, abstracts and begin to collect those as well. You can go right down. I've gone right down to the size of business cards and still being able to sell them. Okay, my friends, I hope that helps. I hope that encourages you and inspires you to actually get out there and widen the range of products that you have. Okay, and what you're doing is buying more products for your customers and you'll get new customers out of that. And that's what it's all about, selling paintings. You have a great day. I look forward to the day when you come and have coffee here with me. I really mean that. I look forward to the day when some of you guys 
come from overseas and come and visit me here in this beautiful country. You'll have a ball and bring your sketch pads and bring your watercolors and bring your pastels because when you get into the markets here and get into different places, you will be inspired beyond belief with the color and the movement and it's all very safe to do. Okay, have a great day. Remember to reach out, touch people, care for people, love people. Smiles and hugs are free. Give them away generously. And I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. You have a fabulous day. My name's Mark. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Bye.